It makes you want to step outside for a minute, don't it? <laughs> Think about Moses' conversations with God. I, I gotta believe one of them is Moses looks up to God and he says, What? The Arabs get all the oil and we gotta cut the ends off of our what? <laughs> a, man go, a man goes to the bar, never been there before, but he sees the big sign on the side uh, above the bar that says ask about free drinks for life so he asked the bartender he says what's what's this all about free drinks for life he says well you have to do three things and if you can do those three things then you'll have free drinks here for life well what is it he says, well you have to chug a 1.7 of whiskey without setting it down you have to pull an impacted, infected tooth out of the alligator out back with your bare hands. And you have to make love to a 90-year-old lady upstairs until she has orgasm. If you can do all that, you get free drinks for life. A, I'm going to try it because, you know, I like to drink. So he gives him a jug of 1.7 and he puts it up to his lips and down it goes. Never takes a breath. Okay, where's the alligator? Out back in the pond. He says, I'll be right back. So he goes out in the pond and there's a wailing and gnashing and growling and splashing and it goes on for like 10 minutes. Comes back in, he's all sweaty and muddy and he says, okay. Where's the old lady with the infected tooth? <laughs> skills. But every time I ask one, like, did you get a moose this year? Oh, I got three shots. Did you get a moose? No. Talk to the Gary next door. Did you get a moose this year? No, but I got three shots. Talk to Ray. Did you get a moose this year? No, I got three shots. So I, I had to ask one. Like, what, what is it? You always get three shots, but you never get a moose. Well, by the time you get the lid back on the bottle, the moose is always gone. <laughs> I noticed, uh, back to my neighbors, Harold and Mary Ann, that uh, we hadn't seen Mary Ann for about three weeks. And uh, I asked uh, Harold, I said, what, how come we haven't seen Mary Ann? He says, well, we were having a lot of marriage problems. And we went to a counselor, and the uh, counselor said uh, the cure for that would be to take her out on a date, a real date, and treat her just like you do everything just like you did when you were young. So I took her out to a movie, took her out to dinner, and dropped her off at her mom and dad's house. <laughs> one of my Canadian neighbors gets stopped out here in one of the canals with a basket full of fish. The warden happened to stop him. Did you have a fishing license and permit for all those fish? No, sir. These are these are just my pet fish. <laughs> Your pet fish. How's that? Well, he says every night I take a, all my pet fish out of the tank and I come out here and I let them swim around for an hour or so, and then I blow a whistle and they jump back in my basket and I take them home. I do, we do this every night. Or says, well, I got to see this. So he takes his basket, he dumps all the fish in the canal, and they sit there and they sit there and they sit there, and the worm's getting upset. Well, it's okay. To, let's see the fish again. I said, what fish? <laughs> There's been a new exercise group formed here at Sundance. Uh, ladies, they're very aggressive. 
Actually, they're kind of catty, but they're beautiful, and they call themselves Cougar Size. Oh. 